Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video, where I give my review on the sixth season of Thomas and Friends. First broadcast in 2002, it was the first to be aired after the release of Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and the first of what I dub the Ghislaine era. It was narrated by Michael Angelis in the UK and Alec Baldwin in the US. Season 6 is considered by many to be a good season, and I agree. That being said, however, many elements that made the hit era bad, in my opinion, start with Season 6. Season 6 is the start of the fall for me. That's not me saying it's bad. There are loads of episodes in here that I love, and I still think it's a great season. But at the same time, if you watch Seasons 1-5, to five, and then watch this, there is a clear difference. And I would say that season 6 contains the first episode in the whole show that I disliked, that being Percy and the Haunted Mine. As most of you know, between seasons 5 and 6, Thomas and the Magic Railroad was released, and the film didn't do that great. And that's the main reason why the show changed between these two seasons. I think this is the most prominent with Ari and Bert. In season 5, they were these two creepy diesels that tried to scrap Stepney. And now they're just ordinary bullies. And I think that's probably because they wanted to move away from the Diesel's Want to Scrap Steam thing after Diesel 10. But they ruined what could have been amazing characters. The best episode, in my opinion, is Thomas the Jet Engine. This episode came at a point in the show where realism was still a massive part. And I've heard many people say that this is the worst episode of the classic era because of how unrealistic it is. But who cares? This is an amazing, fun, 100 mile an hour story. And come on, can anyone not laugh at this? He was excited when he saw Thomas flying down the track. Want a race, Thomas? Be Bertie? <sighs> Never mind. In a season that was very much a step down from season 5, and showed the first hints of where the show was going after season 6, Episodes like Thomas the Jet Engine and Gordon Takes a Tumble was proof that the team still had it. But you also have to look at some of the worst episodes from this season. The first being Jack Frost. I don't think Jack Frost is a bad episode. However, it does use a story formula that is used in almost every TV show. And hence was the first sign that Thomas was losing its uniqueness and its magic. Like I said earlier, Percy and the Haunted Mine is the first episode of the whole show I would say I disliked. It feels very much like an episode out of the hit era, and I don't think Percy is this stupid. Compared to other characters, this isn't all that bad, but I think this is the first instance of a character's persona being changed for the sake of a one-off episode. The new characters in this season were Salty, Harvey, Elizabeth and The Pack. I think Elizabeth is the weakest, but they still use the other three to this day, with Salty being one of the main supporting characters. Salty is my personal favourite, and I love his opening episode. Plus, he sings sea shanties, so that's a bonus. On to the narration. Like the episodes, the narration in both English dubs is quite a bit worse in season 5. I haven't heard much of Alec Baldwin stuff, so apologies to any American viewers, but I don't think he did a very good job narrating season 6, especially compared to his season 5 stuff. Scary Jack Frost, cried James. Michael Angelis is also worse in this season than in season 5. However, it's still good. I still enjoy his narration in season 6. So, in my opinion, season 6 is the start of the fall, but it's still a good season. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10, so bottom of the list so far. 
and my top 10 episodes from 10th to best are Edward the Very Useful Engine, Harvey to the Rescue, The World's Strongest Engine, Faulty Whistles, A Friend in Need, No Sleep for Cranky, Salty Secret, The Fogman, Gordon Takes a Tumble, and Thomas the Jet Engine. So, those are my views on the 6th season of Thomas and Friends, but comment down below what you think. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram by clicking on the link in the description, and that's all for today, I will see you next week.